you come up against legal and practical issues every day. QuickCall gives you direct access to our team of specialist education advisors. Your queries will be resolved quickly and with certainty of cost. You don't have any choice about whether or not you continue to recognise unions, as this goes across with the terms and conditions of your staff. What you do have a choice about is whether or not you sign a document which regulates how you're going to work with your unions going forward. You don't have to sign it. There's no legal obligation for you to do so, and whether you do is absolutely a decision of the governing body. If you do want to sign something, make sure you make it work for you. Don't just sign the document that the unions give you, but read through it. Do you need regular meetings? Do you need a joint negotiating committee? If not, amend it and agree something that works for you in your school. You want it to be something that will allow unions to support your staff, but not get in the way of the day-to-day -day running of your school.